Hey guys, how we doing? It's me, Gloria, and today I'm coming to you with my first Halloween card of 2017. Now guys, I want to apologize for my video, my last video, which is the squirrel card. I had no idea my video was upside down when I uploaded it, and there was no way for me to take it off and try to convert it because YouTube ended up changing the video creator. So if anyone knows how you can rotate a video after you record it any software that's free please let me know in the comments below i so do appreciate it and guys if you want to come and follow me on facebook twitter instagram pinterest i have a link right on top of my page that it explains to you exactly where i'm at so definitely go and follow me there and let's get started guys so this is the paper pack that i'm using and this is a really really old stack for those of you that are new, I love paper, and I'm a collector for paper for some reason. I have no idea I had that fever. So, um, I am using this paper right here and also this, um, this paper right here. So, let's get started, guys. My card is going to be a two-size card, and it's going to open up side to side. So, I already have the inside of my card already put together, and what I end up doing here was... I end up taking three different layers and I'm gluing them together. Then what I did was I held the piece sideways and then cut what I didn't want off. And then I did the same to the other side. And that's how I got that unique corner. So, and there's also a different embellishment, you know, something different to add the style to your cards. So, and my sentiment that I end up using for that is from My Creative Time with Emma. And that one is called Treats for My Sweet. And all of the stamps that I have in here is from that stamp set. And I love me some Emma. You guys should go check her out. She has some amazing, amazing uh, things every month that she ends up uh, showcasing out of her store and her products are phenomenal so there goes the inside of my card and this is the my creative time with emma treats for my sweet and have a spectacular day then i end up using the witch hat the spider web then the spider and then also the bat so there goes the inside of my card which is really simple guys so now the front of my card is going to consist of these three layers so now I'm just gonna add some tape to the back and then add them on to each layer and then put put them on my card base so I hope everyone's doing really good I've been I don't know how to feel guys I'm going through a roller coaster of feelings right now I thought it was just me and the hurricane and my nephew. For those of you that don't know, um, I've been away for a while and I just haven't been doing much. My nephew, uh, he just ended up passing September the 3rd. So I was in New York at that time and had enough time just to come home. And prepare for this Hurricane Irma. And just, you know, make sure that everything is fine. Okay, so there goes that. And now I'm just going to add this to the front of my card. Now, the cuts that I end up using is from Hello Kitty. And then... Uh, scallop that I end up getting from the cartridge stamping and it's a solution cartridge for those of you that don't know back in the day they used to have different types of cartridges some of them had more images than other others some of them was less images for less amount of money you know because when the cricket cartridges first came out guys I'm pretty sure you guys know if you've been with Cricut long enough there were $89, $90 per cartridge in some places you pay a hundred and something dollars a cartridge which that was ridiculous 
But if you wanted it bad, guys, you would have bought it. Okay, so there goes my card base. Okay, guys, so now what I'm going to do now. Oh, I just love this. I have these four layers and I'm going to layer them all on top. And this is what I was telling you I had did on the inside, which I lay them all on top, even leaving them space as a layer trim, sort of like this, give or take, but you know, the right way, of course. And um, then what I ended up doing was just cutting it up. So now I'm just going to put adhesive on all of these and I'm going to put them on and then I'm going to put them in the middle of my card base. Okay, and that looks good right there. Then I'm going to come in with the purple and the orange I hope I'm in frame leave an equal try to leave equal amounts of spaces between the top and the bottom sometimes it works out sometimes it don't you know just eyeball it and you know do the best that you can guys Okay, and now I'm going to add this one to the middle, just like that. Oh, that looks really cool. And now I'm going to tape this up and add this to my base. And yes, I run out of tape. Okay, so I end up putting some tape behind in my gun because I ran out so now I'm gonna put this strip right here as you can see right in the middle and that looks good right there and look at how cool that looks oh I love it I love it now I end up using this circle and it was just the frame and it had an overlay and a uh, shadow and what I ended up doing was just taking this part which when you get the file it's only this part that you get but when you go to the high contour if you hide the middle section you could get a full shape if you hide the outside and leave the middle section in then you get another shape so I mean it's things like that it's easy to manipulate in the design space So then I end up getting the frame, then I got the inlay, and then I cut another piece and I sliced the inlay so I can have a bottom floor. Then I end up using my Tim Holtz checkerboard um, um, embossing folder, and that's what you see right there, and it's cool. So now I got this popped up on the frame and then I have it popped up again to go on the card. So I'm just taking this right off. Then I'm going to lay this out even and it looks good right there. So now I'm just going to press. Then I end up using my creative time with Emma dies, the uh, scallop stitch oval dies and I used a smaller one because I wanted to stamp out my sentiment that came from the trees from my sweet best witches and I'm going to add this right here so what I want to do with that is I want to pop that up so I got a piece of foam tape right here And then I just want to cut off a little bit of the excess that I got. Okay. And here goes my sentiment. And now I'm just going to take the sticky back off. And I'm going to add this right here. 
And now, in the cartridge, Hello Kitty, she has a lot of different images. And there's one image there that is her as a witch. So, of course, I had to bring her out and then change her up a little bit because why? That got to be me. So, here goes my Hello Kitty. And I so do love, 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 love her face. It is so stinking cute. And that stay face I ended up getting from the Peachy Keen monthly subscription from August 2017. And there goes that face. Oh my god, guys. Look at how adorable that face is. So, and then of course, instead of me putting her pink, I put her in orange to make her... You know, she's a witch. So tell me you guys love it. Oh my god, I just love her face. Now, I'm going to... I pop, I got her popped up. So I'm going to take her adhesive off. And now I'm just going to turn around. And I'm going to pop this right in the middle. But, you know, I don't have a piece that is behind... the circle so now I have this small little piece there you go and now I'm gonna take this and put this down positioning it right where I want it before I press down on it guys always remember Oh my god, she is so stinking cute. And there you go. So there goes my... F oh no, I'm not done yet. Then, I have these little tiny black gems. And I got this from the Scrapbook Expo. Um, They're a dollar. And they're little triangles or sur uh, squares, I mean. Not triangles. So, what I'm going to do right there, I might want to put one up here. No, I think that's all right right there. So, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to line them up. Where I actually want them to go. Then I'm going to take my tweezers. And I'm going to add some glue to it. And I want to add these to an angle. I don't want them to have a square look. So I'm going to triangle it out. And then I'm going to take the next one. Then I'm going to add, get my tweezers. Okay, I might have to put some more glue on that one. That jumped away from me. Then, one, I got two more to go. And these are really, these are acrylic gems. You can actually get these similar um you could go to eyelet outlet.com and i'm pretty sure they got these there because they have a whole lot of different embellishments guys okay so that looks good so now i'm just going to press on them and now we are finished with my card, guys. So there goes my witch card from Hello Kitty. I really hope you guys enjoy. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you'd like to see something different or give me some suggestions if you would like. Please apologize for my last video. I'm so sorry that it was upside down. I wish I could have done something for that, but I couldn't. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Y'all have a blessed day now. Bye.